Hey everyone, welcome to Code Miraki. In this video, I am going to show you step by step how to install Miniconda 3 on your Mac. Currently, I am using Mac that has a very limited storage of 256 GB. To overcome this storage problem, I have added external SSD on my device. We are going to install Miniconda on top of this external SSD. If you are using external SSD, please make sure that there is no space between the name of SSD because Miniconda doesn't handle install path with space as well. It can break things later. Coming back to the installation part. First, we will go to the browser, type anaconda.com and click on the free downloads, click on skip registration and in the Miniconda installer section, click on Mac. Now you will see two options here, Apple Silicon and Intel chip. Just oh, head over to your terminal, type uname hyphen M. If you are seeing ARM64, that means it is uh, Apple Silicon. So go ahead and now click on this Apple Silicon command line installer. Click on allow. This will start the download. Once downloaded, head over to the terminal. Go to the download directory. Since I already have it downloaded over here, I will go ahead and install it. So just install by typing bash and then miniconda. This is for the license. Hit enter. Keep hitting till the time you see yes and no options. So now you have to type yes. Now here it is saying Miniconda 3 will be installed on this location. If you want to install it on your internal SSD, you can go ahead and hit enter. In case you are uh, you want to install it to different location, like in my case, I am going to install on SSD. So we have to provide the path here. So in my case, it's volume external SSD. Now this is the new folder that I am going to create inside it. So let's name it as Miniconda. It will take some time to install. So here it is asking whether you want the Conda to be activated every time we start a terminal. So you can press yes if you agree, otherwise you can press no. In my case, I will say no because I want to activate it when I need it. All right, so Conda has been successfully installed on our system. Next step is we have to update the shell profile. I am using Vim here. You can use Nano or any other text editor. Since I have ZSHRC, if you have bash, then you can go for bash. And here I have to add this line. Save and exit, reload the shell profile. Okay, so some error is coming. Let me go ahead and verify it. Okay, I think I forgot to add export path. Yes, I forgot. I'm sorry, I forgot to add the path keyword over here. It should be path equals to Now let's go ahead and refresh it once again. All right, so it is done. Now if I will type Conda over here, you can see I am my Conda is up and running. That's it. You have successfully installed Mini Conda on your Mac. That too on the SSD. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for more tech tutorials, and share it with anyone who might need this. Don't forget to check out my other video that is on how to uninstall Mini Conda. The link is in the description box. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.